Hi, I'm Christine Kessler speaking to you live from the MEDS conference in Orlando. And I've been asked to say a few words about thyroid disease in pregnancy. Now, the most common thyroid disorder in pregnancy is subclinical hypothyroidism. And this is a concern because it has great impact on the developing fetus, much like clinical hypothyroidism. And that is the increased risk of preterm labor, low birth weight, and impact on intellect. So we want to find these people early. So who do we assess for subclinical hypothyroidism? Well, the guidelines say that in pregnant women, we only evaluate those at high risk. But who are they? Well, it's those who've had a family history or a personal history of autoimmune disorders, especially type 1 diabetes. Or if somebody's had whole neck radiation, they've had an infant that had a thyroid disease, or they've had postpartum thyroiditis that went normal. And I would add, anybody that shows metabolic syndrome with high lipids and blood pressure should be evaluated. Now what we check is TSH. In first trimester, TSH tends to be suppressed. So any TSH level over 2.5 is considered subclinical hypothyroidism. The free T4 may be normal or low normal, but we look at that TSH. Then what do we do? We treat them. And we treat them with levothyroxine. I usually start at 50 to 75 micrograms. As TSH levels go up, we give a higher dose, up to 100 micrograms if TSH close to 15. Understand that levothyroxine is metabolized quicker in the pregnant patient. Then what do we do? We monitor TSH every four to six weeks until 20 weeks after which we just take t uh, look at TSH between weeks 24 to 28 and at between, oh, 32 and 36 weeks. At the completion of the pregnancy, levels of levothyroxine is cut in half and may be weaned off. And hopefully you have a happy, healthy mother and child. And that's it from Orlando.